Let me thank everyone who has participated in today's launch of the IOM Institutional Framework for Addressing Gender-Based Violence, GBV, in Crises. I would like to express my appreciation to the distinguished panelists for their important contributions and the time they have committed to this event. Your support for this initiative and your leadership on tackling GBV is invaluable, not only to this organization, but to the humanitarian community as a whole. I'm very pleased with the progress that IOM has made in its institutional and global commitments to address GBV in crises. And I'm proud to say that this framework will be part of my legacy. As IOM's first such framework, it represents IOM's contribution and an extremely important step toward transforming the way GBV is addressed in crises. I trust that through the strategic interventions set out in the framework, GBV programming, in particular risk mitigation, will become an integral part of the organization's core crisis operations. I count on all staff within IOM to continue to participate actively in collective efforts at the global, regional, and local levels to take action against GBV so that we meet our essential commitments to uphold the fundamental rights, safety, and dignity of the people we serve. I strongly encourage and hope and expect that all of you present here today continue your tremendous efforts in addressing GBV together. Specifically, I call on IOM regional directors and chiefs of mission to demonstrate leadership by keeping GBV in the spotlight and advocating for and prioritizing interventions that mitigate GBV risks and alleviate the harm and suffering of GBV survivors. We must ensure that our staff and partners have the skills and the knowledge they need to address GBV in crises and foster collaborative relationships with all relevant stakeholders in order to achieve our common goal. I call on IOM staff, particularly those on the front line of crisis operations and those working in fragile contexts, to sustain your efforts to integrate GBV risk mitigation, response and prevention in your daily work and to support and empower crisis affected individuals and communities to strengthen their resilience and recover from crises. I call on civil society and global partners to build inclusive collaborative partnerships in order to translate high level commitments into concrete action on the ground and further advocate for ending this violence. And finally, I call on states and donors, not only to prioritize funding at all levels aimed at eradicating GBV worldwide, but also to leverage your unique position to galvanize action, raise awareness, and promote accountability. Encourage others to commit to addressing GBV in crises and support the sustainability of our interventions by reflecting your commitments across your policy landscape. We count on your partnership to scale up good practices and build the evidence base for quality interventions that save lives, mitigate risks, and promote the dignity and well-being of the people we serve. Thank you.